Hello everyone! This video is all about female dominance behaviour in guinea pigs. A lot of this also applies to males but I'm just going to focus on females because that's what I have more experience with. So first I'm just going to tell you about why they feel they need to set up a dominance hierarchy. Then the different behaviours so hopefully you can learn to recognise them. And finally I'll talk to you about when you should be concerned and when you might think about splitting up your guinea pigs. So firstly, guinea pigs in the wild have evolved to live in herds because basically this increases their chance of surviving. Um, however, each guinea pig still ultimately cares more about itself than it does the herd. So that's why they set up a dominance hierarchy. Usually in the wild, single males take charge of a group of females and then within that group of females, each female also has her own ranking. And this instinct to organise themselves into a hierarchy has carried through into domestic piggies which we keep as pets. So for any guinea pig kept in groups, which they should be, then there is going to be a boss piggy and there's going to be those piggies who are bossed around. Battles for dominance or asserting dominance are extremely common and it's really interesting to be able to watch and understand what the different behaviours mean and even those subtle ones which you might not have noticed before. Over the past few weeks I have had my camera ready by my guinea pig's cage ready to film them doing any kind of dominance behaviours so I've got some clips to show you and hopefully you'll be able to know exactly what ones I'm talking about. But first we've got one of the more unpleasant behaviours to witness and this is the scent marking in which they um, drag their bottom across the floor. <laughs> Just lovely. Um, so you might see this behaviour if you put in a new bed or something in their cage and basically they go over to mark it. Uh, I do notice them wiping their bums sometimes after they've done a pee so it isn't always a dominance thing but here is a clip of Sprite showing you how it's done. Some females might actually spray urine at their cage mates and this isn't a scent marking thing, it's a kind of a way of saying stay back or keep away, I'm I'm irritated, I don't want to be annoyed any any further. And I think in the wild females do it to warn males off when they don't want to be mated. The next one is something I'm sure you've all seen and this has a quite a funny name, it's called rumble strutting. I'm showing Anna here because she tends to do it a lot, being the dominant piggy. So in this behaviour they kind of make a rumbling noise and they move their hips from side to side as they walk along. And there's different levels of this, so sometimes they might just be walking past another piggy and start doing it randomly, or sometimes it might be more directed at another piggy as a show of dominance. Um, more aggressive rumble strutting, they can actually turn themselves sideways, trying to make them look bigger, and raise, raise the hair on their backs, and also stamp their feet more. Um, however, the more toned down version uh, is very common in pigs where they have already set up a hierarchy. In my piggies they do it almost every day. They seem to go through phases as well, so they'll go through a phase where they're doing it a lot, which might be because they've come into season. And uh, this behaviour as well often leads to mounting. So females mount each other as well as males. Another behaviour which can go unnoticed by people is head raising and this is where they kind of have a little face off with each other and um, they kind of raise their noses above each other and generally the piggy with the highest nose is the one that is dominant so watch out for that behaviour and it's a way of telling which piggy is in charge. Another kind of behaviour which can be subtle is submissive behaviour. These can be simply not reacting to a challenge or running away when the dominant piggy is becoming 
slightly aggressive towards them. So here's a quick clip of Sprite being submissive. She runs away from the water bottle because Annie comes up behind her. And this is submissive because she's not trying to defend it in any way. And um, I'm sure she'll come back and have her drink later after Annie has finished. Especially in new newly introduced are nervous piggies. Submissive piggies might squeal loudly um, even when another piggy just comes close to them without actually doing anything to them. And this squealing is basically saying, leave me alone, you're the boss, just let me be, that kind of thing. So I don't actually have any footage of this, but Annie, who's now gone over there, Annie used to do this when Sprite was the boss. And uh, whenever Sprite came near her, she would start squealing. That was before she became the boss pig herself. So the next one is teeth chattering and like rumble strutting this can have different levels. So although teeth chattering is often thought to mean bad things are going to happen, <laughs> it's actually quite common. My piggies do it a lot with no intention to try and hurt each other. I've got a quick clip of Sprite teeth chattering and uh, I, don't, I don't always think it's dominant, dominance related but um, in this one I think she's kind of annoyed because I was cleaning out the hay room and she wanted to go in it. Another behaviour which can be quite scary sometimes is chasing. So the dominant piggy might assert their dominance by chasing others around the cage, um, particularly if they feel that their place as the boss might be threatened by another one. So Annie, who is the boss pig in my trio, she does this quite a lot but she only chases Sprite around and this is quite interesting because Sprite is second in command and um, as well I think because Lola has lived with Annie longer and Lola has never been the boss pig so Annie doesn't feel the need to assert her dominance over her as much as she does Sprite. They used to do this quite a lot but they don't do it so often anymore so I think that's a good sign of um, Annie kind of realising that her place as boss isn't really that threatened by Sprite. So here's a bit of uh, Annie chasing Sprite around. She never tries to hurt her but um, you might see your piggies chasing and if one of them is squealing or if the one looks like they might be trying to bite the other um, then this could lead to a fight so you might need to intervene but when I'm talking about these uh, upscaling behaviours and leading to fights it's often when you're introducing new piggies it's highly unlikely that piggies where they've already set up a dominance hierarchy will suddenly start feeling the need to fight each other. So the next one is nipping, which again can be either relatively meaningless or more serious. A lot of people see this behaviour and get worried but actually a lot of the time it's really normal and the piggy being nipped isn't actually being hurt. Um, Sprite likes to try and nip or even just kind of lunge at Lola without intention to hurt her as a kind of way of saying you're annoying me back off. And if you look carefully you can actually tell she's going to do it because her mouth is open before she kind of lunges ahead. It's, it's a kind of warning sign of aggression. I, I do actually have some very old footage here of what was almost a fight between Pixie and Sprite and this was when I was introducing Annie and Lola. Pixie chases Sprite who is squealing in submission and Pixie was also teeth chattering very loudly and aggressively and ra raising the hair on the back of her neck to make herself appear larger. If she lunges at Sprite and if Sprite hadn't have run away then there would probably have been a full blown fight. So watch this and hopefully you'll see what real aggressive behaviour is like as opposed to the other clips that I've shown so far.
So it still scares me watching that clip because it just shows how even uh, relatively docile animals like guinea pigs can be quite aggressive towards each other. Um, it's not nice to see them doing that. Annie, what are you doing? <laughs> so this is a classic example of rumble strutting and then popcorning at the same time. If they do have a full-blown fire that you don't want to put your hand in there because chances are you, you're going to get bitten or hurt. So you should stop them by throwing a towel over them to stop them hurting each other. And um, again, I'll say this is usually when you're introducing piggies. So dominance issues can take a long time to settle down and they can even go on for months. But as long as there are no physical fights or as long as the less dominant piggies can still get all the food and water they need, then there's really nothing to worry about especially in females. Uh, it can be quite common for owners to get worried at certain behaviours and split the piggies up but actually this does more harm than good because when you put them back together they'll have to start over again and set up the hierarchy from scratch so the dominance behaviours which you'll see when you put them back together will often be even more scaled up than they were before. But if you are worried then certain things can help if you think your piggies are being too confrontational or if you think one is bullying the others. So extending their cage to give them more space can make a massive difference and really help them get along better. Or sometimes they might be just arguing about who goes in, in a certain area of the cage. So something simple like just adding an extra hidey house for them to go in can really help. Also adding extra food bowls or water bottles can help prevent confrontations and stop the dominant guinea pig from guarding them so that another can't eat or drink when they're nearby. So as you can see my water bottles are right next to each other because my guinea pigs don't really guard but if they did, if you did think that one guinea pig was preventing another from getting to the water bottle then you might want to put it in a different area of the cage so that they couldn't um, be in the way all the time. I think that's everything for this video so I hope you could see that most dominance behaviours are really nothing to worry about and um, they're actually interesting to watch and recognise the dominance relationships between your piggies. Really only if there are full-blown fights which result in bloodshed or constant bullying where one piggy won't let the others do anything without being harassed, they won't let them eat or drink, then only in those situations should you think about separating them. And often bullying behaviours can be helped by changing their cage around like those adding more hideys, places for, for them to go and be apart from each other, that kind of thing. If you do have to separate them, then you can organise the cages so that they've got a divider or something and that they can still see each other or still communicate with each other and that way they won't get so lonely without their cage mate. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it and uh, the clips of the different behaviours helped. So please comment, rate and subscribe. That's bye from me and bye from my piggies. Goodbye.